Hey guys, Jason here with my buddy Motors, and like I said, on the social media is Q&A Thursday. Today I have Micah with us, and I also have Keith with us. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to answer some of your guys' questions, um, and if you're out there, just go ahead and message us, and we'll answer some of those questions. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. So the first question I have is from Josh Graham. Why are people seeing wiring issues with the switches and the handle? Um, the, the crimps, sometimes if they're not crimped right, we get them produced by the thousands. And if they're not crimped right, which happens every once in a while, um, then it'll draw a lot of amperage and short out. Well, and could it be because too, if they bought it from someone else and they tried wiring it themselves, they didn't do it correctly? Sure. Or, sure. And how often do you see that? No, it's not often. It's not nothing to be concerned about. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, we just we keep an eye on problems like that and make sure if there is an issue, we'll address it right away. And then what's the best point of contact that they're having this type of issue? Is it best to call us or what's the best thing to do in that situation? Um, there's options on the internet. We've got a lot of information on our website. And you can call, you can email us. We've got plenty of different options for help. Okay, awesome. Um, the other one that just is here is Zach Burgess with the Mud Buddy ACR 4400. How much water does that set up draft um, without hitting? That's kind of a loaded question. Um, it depends on the boat, the motor, the load. Um, it's, it's situational, so we would need more information on that to answer that. Okay, so right now we just had um, another one from Billy King come in. Um, are there any plans on bringing back the 14 HP surface drive that you guys know of? Know of any no, I don't know of anything, that, yeah. any plans of right now bringing that motor back. Okay, so nothing's in the works as no, we're speaking right now. Nothing in the works, no. Okay, so another live one right here is from Greg McWhorter. Does transom length matter for running a mud buddy? Um, I've got a boat with the long sh uh, shaft outboard. Let me pull this up, sorry guys. Interested in changing? Yeah. We make tall and short transom models. So if your boat measures 21, you need a tall. If it's 15, you need a short. Okay. Um, and let me see what else here. All right. So we have Josh Manning. Does the Black Death 4400 have to have the stainless exhaust because it's loud? I like to change the exhaust and quiet it down a notch. Is that possible? It's possible, but you're probably going to lose a little bit of your performance out of the motor. It needs to flow uh, better in a stock muffler to get that performance. So you can, um, but we don't recommend it. Okay. So the Q muffler, it's not a loud muffler. It's quiet. You know, it's for a mud motor, you're not going to get much quieter. Okay. Um, and then the next one is Dustin Whittaker. What prop does the 37HP HDR come with? And does it have enough power for a bigger prop? The EFI comes with a big blade, which is our most popular prop. Um, running something bigger with that motor, probably not recommended. It just doesn't have enough to push either a three blade or the hammer. Okay. Awesome. And then, um, let me see here real quick. Um, Sean McGinnis, where is the best place to get performance parts for a Mud Buddy? Mud Buddy performance parts is backwater performance. Okay. So, good variety of back of parts that you need to make your Mud Buddy run a little bit better. Okay. And then, so um, do they have a website they can go to or backwaterperformancesystems.com? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the place to get all your performance parts from. Talk to Travis. Travis. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sure he'll <laughs> like that. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little pitch for Travis. So I'll be ringing on the hook here in a minute. <laughs> um, so Daniel Mack, um, if I'm wanting to buy a Mud Buddy motor, where, where do I go to get one? First off, you probably want to check and see if you have an outlining, an outlining dealer within about 75 miles of your area. If you do, you need to talk to that dealer. If you're 75, 76 miles and farther away from a dealer, give us a call here at Mud Buddy. Ask for Clint. He's our outside sales guy, but we do have and protect our dealers. So you have to be at least 75 miles away. 
to contact Mud Buddy and buy it direct. And then just for me personally, I want to hear a funny story. I'm sure everyone out there wants to hear a funny story of what's happened. You know, let's not give any names to hurt anybody. <laughs> um, but, you know, what's a funny story that has happened, you know, on your guys' end with a customer calling in? Funny one? Uh, I don't get too many funny ones. I don't know if they're, they're funny, but they're kind of like, you know, uh, it's pretty obvious type stuff that makes you laugh. Like, don't touch it. You shouldn't have been touching it in the first place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's just, it's just, there's a lot of little things, but some of it's, you know, their motor won't start, so... Did you put oil on the motor? Well, no. <laughs> it's a brand new motor, you gotta check your oil, right? <laughs> or your kill switch isn't plugged in, or you have it in gear so it won't crank over. And these little things, you know, when they're out in the field or something and, and you tell them that little thing, they just go like, okay. Bye. <laughs> or it's totally a million. It's just, it's just a click. There's no, there's no nothing. But just kind of something I, I, it's hard to help you when you're stuck in the marsh if you don't have a couple common tools. A Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, some wire, a couple wrenches. I'm not saying your whole craftsman toolbox, but if you're stuck out there and you need to pull the, the football apart and jump a wire or two. If you don't have a screwdriver, it's not a whole a whole lot that Mike and I can do for you. If yeah. you have a screwdriver, we can tell you, hey, jump these two wires, a motor will fire, we can get you back home. But if you don't have anything in the toolbox, I'm sorry, you know, there's only so much we can do. Yeah, yeah. keep you know, a few tools in the boat. Just, yeah. It's just a few, you don't have to be the whole thing, like you said, you know. No, definitely. A little, a little common sense. Now, how often do you guys get yelled at? Not often. Not too often. Exactly, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. We're a good company, right? Um, we do have a question here that I thought, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Nay, can I trade my GTR for an HDR? It might be able to through a dealership. Yeah. Where are you located at? Yeah. Talk to your local dealer. And even then, message us on here on the messages and we'll respond back to you guys. Um, notify you, you know, who can you reach out to and who can help you. And we'd love you to trade in your yeah, GTR well, we're, for we're all for that. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> um, all right. And I'm just going through the questions here. Um, Nicholas Ballard said, I sure do like my triples on my 24 footer. Thank you guys, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, Nick's boat sweet. Yeah. It's got three forty fours on it. Everything in the kitchen sink in the boat. Yeah, we need, runs over thirty something miles an hour. We need some pictures, bro. We yeah. need some pictures. <laughs> We've talked to you about yeah. this thing, and we know you're running it now. And hopefully, the duck hunting is going well. But I want to see some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that is the biggest thing. Pictures is a must, and you guys can submit those pictures into our Facebook page if you do want to. You could just PM to us and then, um, you know, we'll share them out with everyone and throw it out for you guys. Um, so let me just pull up here. Um, ben Wade wants to know, can I get a sponsorship and how? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question because I want to get that same sponsorship too. <laughs> uh, I, I want a sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> so whoever's out there that listening, you can sponsor me any day. Um, and so my question for each of you, and this is just a personal question, um, what is your favorite motor and why? My favorite motor is probably the 45 Black Death. I'm, I'm slowly transitioning over to the EFI because they're new, but I've, I've, I've liked the 44. I, both of them are great motors. They both put out really good horsepower. And one of these things, guys, you gotta understand, a heavy boat, you need power, but overloading your boat, you know, it's a power to weight ratio thing. It's what it is. You've got all this weight and you only have so much power. So something to keep in mind that what kind of loads are you gonna push and what kind of motor do you need? But also understand if you overload the boat, the motor's not gonna push it. And what type of environment do you hunt in? It's mostly private marshland local here utah public land okay just local stuff close to home well that makes sense and then what about you what's your if you had to choose a mud buddy motor which i already know you have one mm -hmm. um <laughs> what is it and why oh 
the one that's on the market, you know, the the best one that you can get from the factory is definitely a HDR 44. The and, H, I like the HDRs and the 44s are known for power, you know, and they can push a load if it's possible. Yeah, no, so, definitely. Um, all right, well, that does it for us here today. Can you? Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna have Jeffrey read them out to us the questions because I'm having technical difficulties. You got it. No problem. Um, okay. So Matthew Lurch asked, "What can you do to get more power out of the 37 EFI?" You can get uh, different level kits from BPS. There's a Barracuda kit, which is the medium one. They've got a Mako kit, which is the most powerful. And um, they've got a Cayman kit, and that'll basically bring it to a 44. So he's got a lot of options. Uh, just go to Backwater Performance and take a look at all the parts. Well, that's good. Very cool. If he has any questions, he can call me or message me or something. And how can they email you guys if they do have personal questions after this that they do want to get a hold of you? Uh, Micah at mudbuddy.com. And mine just go for it. It's M I C A H. And my name's Keith, it's K-E-I-T-H at mudbuddy.com. Simple. Simple. It, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Try to make it easy as we can. <laughs> okay, I've got a question from Dylan Grow who asks, can I add reverse to my 44 HDR? You sure can, Dylan. It's a little bit pricey, but it is something and an option you can do here. Um, you can talk to Clint. Uh, when you call into the main office, just ask for Clint and he can give you the information. There's two basic types of kits. There's a basic kit which gives you the reverse transmission and the casting and all the electrical components that you need. And then there's also an add-on kit which you can go with the new 32-inch drive that's stainless steel, the new HDR handle, and um, it also comes with the new wiring harness assembly. So there's two options. It's just One's a little bit more than the both of them, so. And there's a lot of benefit with having the reverse, you know, right? Oh yeah, taking it off the trailer, <laughs> certain areas, turning it around. Yeah, there's, there's benefits, so yeah, there's definitely. Not running into other boats in the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I know for me personally, we were stuck in the mud and we were face up into to the cattails and just being able stuck in the mud and hit that reverse and just get yeah. out of there was just mm -hmm. a blessing instead of getting in that nasty mud. You no know? more push pull. No, yeah. yeah, it was to me. It was like it's a blessing. Like yeah. thank you. Uh, Who knows if my waders are going to be? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, I've got a couple of questions about the warranty on a forty-four HDR. Forty-four HDR warranty. The engine is one year, and also the frame assembly is one year. If you go with a stock 37 EFI HDR or the 37, those are three year engine warranties covered by Briggs and Stratton and the frame assembly is one year. So what, what can break the warranty though? You know, are there certain things that, you know, if they do something to the engine that it gets rid of the warranty? Yeah, if they modify it from the factory, whatever we send it out as, then it's going to be voided if they modify it. So if they add performance they, parts? Yeah, I would void their warranty. Yeah. Okay. But um, if they if they have a warranty problem and they work on it, they're supposed to get a hold of us before they actually tear the thing down. And so. from what I've heard around the office and stuff and a lot of messages on social media is that you guys are actually pretty lenient with the warranty when it comes down to it. You're not strict about it as if you're calling a major company, corporation, and they're just like, one day pass your warranty, you're done, see you later. Yeah. yeah it's a case by case deal, you know, we're we're decent guys. We're not we're not that, that nasty. <laughs> <laughs> we try to take care of our customers. Yeah, so. yeah no definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had a question um, from Todd. He says, Is the exhaust cracking at the motor bracket a common problem? It's they've had some batches that have Cracked. I don't know what kind of muffler he's talking about, but I'm thinking he's talking about the bracket that goes to the crankcase, and it was due to the bends that they had, so they've redesigned the bends and they've been really solid now. They've been really solid. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, and 
they're they're constantly making modifications as we keep going on every year oh, too, yeah. right? With the from the parts, and you guys work closely with the engineering team mm -hmm. um, to help with those parts. Is that right? There, it's not just the it is what it is, and we leave that there. But you know, you guys are always trying to figure out a better way to make those parts better. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah, yeah. We try to make everything better every year, so we're always working on something, guys. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. They do listen to us, and, and you know, we take. We take some of the things that you guys give us as customers and, and take that to our boss and, and yeah. who's one of the lead engineers here at Mudbay and say, hey, we've had a couple ideas. What do you think? And some of them, you know, are good ideas. And they're all good ideas. Some of them make the grade and some of them don't. You yeah. Know? But that's just the way it is. But well, you take what you can and then the other ones are just like, you kind of laugh at them. Like, right. You wish, man. <laughs> you <laughs> wish, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have a question. Um, from Grant, I am interested in the Raptor prop. Is there going to be a big difference between the big blade I have, a 35 horsepower with heads and exhaust? Yes, if he's going to run that Raptor prop, most likely going to have to do a little bit of gearing adjustment because that Raptor prop is a more aggressive prop than the, the big blade. It's an 11 inch pitch versus a 10 inch, so you're probably bro going to have to do some gearing Easy way to figure out what kind of gearing you have. If you look on the block, just below the oil filter between the drain plug, there's a number stamp to the left and one stamp to the right. The left one tells us what gear is on your top and what gear on the bottom is on the right hand side of that. And they're stamped into all of our motors. I'm not gonna say the guys don't miss it once in a while, but <laughs> most of the time it is stamped right there by the drain plug on the bottom of the, on the block. Awesome. All right, well, that's going to cut us this time here today. Um, once again, thanks, Micah, and yep. thanks, Keith, because Thank I know you guys are busy on the phone 24-7, <laughs> um, 365, but thanks for joining us. Uh, next week, we'll be doing the same thing. Make sure to come by 3 o'clock uh, next Thursday, um, and then we're also going to do a giveaway as well next Thursday when we do it. Um, so once again, thanks for watching, and if you do have any further questions, feel free to PM us on our social media page. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.